Valentine's is fast approaching, so I thought I'd create a mini series of Valentine's looks that you could do for if you're going on a date or if you're just going out with friends. So if you like the look of this, please keep watching. For the first time in ages, my skin looks so good and I have a bloody spot on my chin. So we're going to start off with the eyes and I'm applying my NARS eye primer. And we're going to apply tape to the sides because it's going to be all about that winged eyeliner. We're going to be taking this nude colour from the 35W palette by Morphe and applying it to the brow bone. And then we're going to go in with a light brown shade for the transition colour. And you just want to blend that into the crease. We're now going in with a darker brown colour just to deepen the socket and the outer corners. We just want to keep the eyeshadow minimal because like I said it's going to be all about that eyeliner. And then we're going to go back in with that transition colour and fuse the colours together. We're now going to take two light shimmery shades from that same Morphe palette and we're going to apply them to the lid. The reason why I've done two is because I wanted to mix the gold from the second one and the silver from the first to create a nice, a nice shade on the lid. And then once again, after you've passed that on the lid, you want to blend it together with that same transition colour. By the way, using tape doesn't just give you nice crisp, crisp lines with your eyeliner and eyeshadow, it also shortens the time it takes to do your makeup. And that's what you want, especially if you're going on a date, you don't want to be taking ages. So I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I always find it easier to draw out my wings first and then go in with the rest of the eye. So now we're moving on to the face and I'm going to remove redness and that spot with the green colour from the Sleek Makeup Colour Correcting Palette. And then I will blend that all into my face with a damp beauty blender. I'm now going under the eye with Becca's under eye brightening corrector and this just brightens up and hides those bags that appear sometimes and blend that out with a beauty blender. I'm now going in with my foundation from Kat Von D, it's a locket it foundation in light 45 warm. And by the way, I have a slight rash on my neck so it's kind of red and blotchy so it makes my foundation look like it doesn't match the rest of my skin, but it does, trust me, I wouldn't put it on if it didn't. And now for concealer, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in Light 3 Warm. And I like to place this in the areas and then just brush them out with a flat brush. And then I like to go in with my damp beauty blender just to make sure all the edges are blended in and excess concealer is removed from my face. <music> going in with my Liz Owl Loose Powder, I think it's in medium beige, I will link it down below. But um, yeah, I like to pat this on with the brush and then once I'm happy with the coverage, I then like to blend it away with the same brush. I'm now going in with my Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm going in with the colour Lucid, I believe. Yes, Lucid. And now we're going in with Sombre from the same palette to contour and I like to apply that to the tops of my forehead, my hollows of the cheeks and my jawline. I'm now going in with Max Blusher in Warm Soul and I like to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Ta-da! Now going in with that dark brown shade that we used from the Morphe palette, we're going to blend that out onto the lower lid and that is the only colour we're going to use under there. For the inner corner highlight, we're using the colour Sub Solar from the Sleek Makeup Solstice palette. That's the light colour, and it's also going to be the same colour we use later on for my cheeks. But you'll see, you'll see later. So I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And then we're going to put these lovely Isla 118 eyelashes on. And I think they're my favourite natural eyelashes, and I definitely need to get some more. So like I said, we're going to put Sub, so sub Solar onto the cheeks and we're going to put it on the cupid's bow and on the little button area of the nose. Ah, words are not coming to me right now. The tip of the nose, that's the one. And then we're going to take hemisphere and just apply that over the highlight we've already applied just on the cheeks. I just wanted to give it a slight purpley hue. 
For the lips, I'm going to apply MAC Pro's Extended Play on the outer corners and then put Marc Jacobs Dashing Red Lipstick in the middle. I don't think you can get Extended Play anymore. I think it's been discontinued, unfortunately. So, voila, this is the finish look. So I really wanted to keep this really nice and simple, you know, a classic red lip with a lovely winged eyeliner and my boyfriend absolutely loved this look. It's so nice and simple and it's elegant and if that's what you're going for then this look is perfect for you. So for my next Valentine's look it's going to be completely different to this, it's going to be all about the eyeshadow instead of the eyeliner and if you're wanting to give off that pretty bubbly vibe then it's going to be perfect for you so stay tuned if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i also have a facebook page and an instagram and hopefully a twitter soon as normal i will link all the products that i've used down below if you have any questions at all about how to do something or a certain look then please comment down below i will answer it and thank you for watching my video. Bye guys!